had it gone for a week last time. Somebody spilled their drink into it. Hello! Hey there, gamers, and welcome to Maxwell Plays One Night Full Circle. Uh, I don't know a lot about this, uh, except for it looks like it was made in RPG Maker. Uh, I know there's two of them, so it's going to have a lot of content, seeing as I can play this one, then the second one. Uh, other than that, I've only seen like small tidbits of footage, and from the looks of it, both of them usually involve investigating some haunted manor for whatever reason. So, a lot of puzzles it looks like, and a lot of loud jump scare noises, so let's get started. Oh, this is new. Usually these kind of games don't have difficulty. Oh, well, let's just go with normal. It's been three months now since my sister Alyssa went missing. She was a journalist sent to the town of Stillwater to report on some scientific press conference. Of course, something went wrong and she never returned. Contact with the town was lost various people who were sent to investigate never came back. I'd given up Alyssa for dead, but then I received a strange letter in the mail. The letter was written by Alyssa herself, dated from three months ago. Who sent it to me? Is Alyssa herself still alive? Trapped in Stillwater? If she's out there somewhere, it's up to me to find her. I don't know what happened on that day. <laughs> I don't know what happened on that one fateful night in Stillwater. But it's the reason why Alyssa is gone. I've got no other leads to follow now. There's only one logical place to search now, and that's Stillwater itself. Sorry if my reading is not the best, but I try. A little campfire going on there. Sigh. The town can't be much further ahead now. I'm coming for you, Alyssa. Okay. You can use the arrow keys to move around the area. Interact with objects objects of interest with the enter key. You can press the escape key to view and use your items. The fire lit earlier is still burning. Even though it's a warm night, however, I still feel cold. Oh, this has like a really silent hill feel to it. <laughs> First aid kit. And there's actually weapons. I was not expecting that. This is kind of fancy. This. No, this is d different. My dear brother Tom. Please excuse my abrupt, abrupt departure. I had to leave at a very short notice. I have been invited to be present at a press conference in the town of Stillwater regarding a scientific demonstration which I'm not allowed to inform anyone about yet. I was urged to attend in secrecy and had to be aboard the flight they arranged for me without having a chance to tell you. Nevertheless, I thought I'd let you know where I am. The demonstration is to take place early tomorrow. They assure me I'll be back home soon after. Keep well, Alyssa. Hmm. And I got that. Huh. Interesting. Does it have the sprint option? No. Okay. Well. Am I supposed to go up? Ah, oh, it looks like I'm supposed to go right. It's kind of dark over there. Oh, oh, no. Ah, oh, there we go. Wandering around in the woods. Whoa. Freaky looking flower. Fork in the path. I think still water is due north of here. There should be a few hours in the forest. Houses in the forest as they get closer to the outskirts. You can go north, but there's also east. What's this? This is some big flower. I don't think it normally grows around here. Hmm. I guess we'll just go north. Seems like the way to go.
Oh, there we go. Uh, wood? No. Yes. Oh. Ah, it's a car. Hello, car. Huh? Trunk? Nope. Uh, should we check out the house? Oil drums. They seem to be empty and are rusting. Yeah, yeah. Same thing. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, that little bit of rubble. <laughs> Whoa! Creepy. <sighs> Shiny things. Found a discarded memo pad. Okay. Discarded memo pad. The bottles are empty, the labels are faded, and I can't make any of the words out. Let's see what that memo pad is all about. What the hell? Where did everybody go? I can't seem to get the television or radio working either. And even though I call can call people with the phone, I don't get any answer. I'm gonna go search in town. If you're reading this and I'm not back, assume the worst. Ooh. A cardboard box. There doesn't seem to be anything useful inside. You can always use a cardboard box. Hiding it. <laughs> Mobile hiding spot. Solid snake. A television. Turning it on yields only static. None of the channels are working. These shells are decrepit and can't hold anything. I've actually had shelves like that before. It was a little piece of crap Walmart shelf I put together and it started falling apart. The speaker's connected to the television. There's nothing unusual about it. It looks like it still works. A speaker that works, huh? Found a bottle of stimulants. What the hell? What's that all about? Strength and health. Oh, that your strength and health. I wonder what the difference is. Huh. You have absolutely nothing to say about that? That's pretty gnarly. Looks like someone got the clock has stopped ticking. It's stuck at 9 o'clock, though I have no idea if that's AM or PM. That's pretty detailed. You wouldn't know. The remains of some plates, they look like they've been this way for a long time. The stove works. I can light a flame on the hot plate, but there's no reason t for, uh, for that right now. The water runs, but it's dirty and thick. Ew. Not 100% sure why I'm in this house. I guess I'm just checking around for Alyssa. I can turn the computer on, but I can't access the internet for some reason. Ooh. Can't watch no YouTube. Can't play no video games or download them, I guess. The drawer is locked. There's a small steel keyhole, which I can insert the key into. Okay. So we're looking for a steel-like key. This bed is drenched in blood. No way I'm sleeping in this thing, ever. Yeah. I prefer sleeping on the couch, anyway. Or an air mattress. <laughs> the bookcase is filled with all kinds of books, but they are all fiction novels and are useless to me right now. Hmm. Yeah, I guess it's not a good time to curl up with a book right now, anyway. Oh, oh okay, yes. Ooh, shiny. Ah, painkillers. The medicine cabinet is empty. There's only toothpaste and other old toilet tr old toilet trees inside. The water in the toilet is filthy. From what I can see, it still looks like it works. Flush it. It's filthy. Flush it. No. Cardboard. What is this? Boxes. I think. Did I check this? Yep. Okay. Let's go out here. Alright. Oh. The closet is stuck and I can't get it open. A horrible smell is coming from inside. Huh. Okay. Oh, yeah. It's locked. Did I? No, those are all novels. Computer. Didn't explain what this water spot is. Oh. I don't know. Well. Okay. I think that's it. Let's 
go up north to the path is, to town is overgrown with foliage I'll have to find another way around can't go this way no this way no nothing let me review the items I have thus far. Okay. Well, can not go this way? Well, I can't think of what to do in there. I didn't find a key or anything, so... Maybe old dude who wrote that memo went this way and he has a key. I don't know. Wait. Didn't think so. Okay. Uh, let's just go that path that went east and see what that's all about. Hello, flower. Are you still being a flower? Okay. Uh, no idea where this way goes. Mushrooms? No? Okay. Got a log, got some blood. Blood. I think it's blood, at least. Oh, got a body. My God, he's been utterly mutilated. What could have done this? Found a silver key. To use keys and other items on locks, press escape to open the inventory screen and select them from the list. You will use the item on whatever you are currently facing. Okay. Anyway, I kind of predicted this. Nothing new. <sighs> nothing else here? A creepy little looking tree. A dead tree blocks the path. With just my bare hands, there's nothing I can do to remove it. Mm. So we will need to find an axe, maybe? Well, let's go open that uh, locker door cabinet thingy on the second floor. And we're here. God, that is a creepy sound. Uh, actually, this one. Oh yeah, that's right, I gotta do this. Used the silver key. A steel bat! The steel bat you just found is a weapon. To equip a weapon and have it ready for use, simply select it from the inventory. You can only equip one weapon at a time. Certain actions while exploring may also only be available if you are holding a certain weapon. Why not equip the steel bat right now? I think I will. Steel bat equipped. Any weapon previously equipped has been replaced. Alright. Get a steel bat. Can we knock down this door with a steel bat? Muscle? No. Hmm. Okay. Let's go knock down that tree, I guess. I don't think we can get past the foliage over here with it, probably. Probably not. Yep. Have to find another way around altogether. Okay. Maybe something will jump out at me this time. Maybe the flower come to life. I don't know. Can I beat the flower? No? Okay. Yeah. I bet that body's gonna be gone or a zombie or something. Yep, it's gone. I heard something. Huh. A dead tree blocks the path, I can demolish it with a steel bat. Poon that tree. Alright, going and going and going. I don't suppose this, this is a path. These paths in this forest kind of mess me up. Okay, that is a path. Is this a path? Nope, just that one path. Okay. Alright, we got a building. Awesome. What? Was that? That's a dude. Ran off. 
Sign says, Caution, coal mine. Entry granted to hard hat wearing employees only. What if I'm a soft hat employee? Some old truck, it's blocking the path and I can't get past it. It's literally rusted into the ground. It's a whole lot of rust. And you're telling me I have to go in the coal mine. Fantastic. I love hanging out in coal mines. An old lantern. It looks like it's only been recently lit. Old dude who ran away must have lit it. Oh, I don't like this music. The lever doesn't do anything, no power is connected. I can't seem to get the locker open. The door is tightly shut. Hmm. There's nothing of note that I can see in this splintered old wood. Oh, I see a rope. No, can't take the rope, no. There doesn't appear to be anything useful in the drawer. The door is tightly shut and it cannot be opened. Maybe the lever to the left controls it? But the lever didn't do anything, right? God, this is some freaky music. Oh. Hi. Oh. Oh, I hear footsteps. I hear footsteps. What the hell was that? Sounds like there's something alive out there. You are not alone. Enemies, enemies roam this area searching for prey. You'll engage in combat if you come into contact with them. If this happens, you can choose to attack with your hands or your equipped weapon, but be careful as doing this requires strength. If you are too low on strength to use your weapon, you may take stimulants to recover. Try to fight only as a last resort. Try to avoid enemies. Okay. I can tell from here that he's dead. Blood is seeping out from under his back. It's a projector screen. It must be used during briefing sessions or the like. I think it works, but there's no reason to use it. There doesn't appear to be... Oh, yeah, I've read those before. Yeah. I hear them footsteps. Alright, they're gonna be in here probably. Ooh. Go in there. <laughs> oh, jeez, what the? Don't like, don't like, don't like. Nope. What's that? Something trapped him up against this wall. That thing I saw when I came in here? Metal tray lined with scalpels and other surgical tools. They don't seem to have been used often. A basin of cold, clean water. Three uses left. Found a bottle of painkillers. A computer. I can use it to save my progress. Alright. I can't seem to get the locker open. The door is tightly shut. Oh, I've read that before. Cabinet full of medical supplies. Most of what's left seems to have been expired. Seems to have expired. Some lovely music in there. Found a discarded cola bottle. Oh, get away from me, get away from me. They don't stop while you're reading. The vending machine... I'm pretty sure it works, but I have no money. I think it's what it said. Not this one. Not that one. Oh, Jesus, get away from him. And not that one. Okay, none of them open. That was just gay. Oh, you can't even go up there. Okay. Well, I guess I'll get my first fight. Your attack deals 20 points of damage to the enemy. 
Da! Was I able to move? Ow, ow, okay, I can get away. Cool. Stimulants, run away. A posted note. Okay, seems pretty safe here to read something. A maintenance memo posted in the mine. Important. As you know by now, the main power generator has been acting up later, so we installed a new backup generator which will activate if the main power fails. In the meantime, until we fix the main, don't do anything to it which may stop it working. And for the love of God, try to make sure no foreign liquids get into the machine. We had to, we had it gone for a week last time. Somebody spilled their drink into it. Oh! Get away. Uh, yep, saw that coming. Hmm. Oh, shiny. A power generator shaft I can put my hands inside if I need to. That doesn't sound safe. I guess I don't need to. Huh. Well, uh, what is this shiny? It's a ultra shiny. It's a terminal for controlling the emergency power generator. Sure. The emergency generator won't start because the main one is still functioning. Doesn't look like it. A lever to adjust power ratios and circuits. I don't need to use it right now. The screen is broken and the hard drive is warped. This doesn't work at all. Okay. Going down. Get away. <laughs> Alright. Oh, shiny. An old leather glove. What's this all about? Oh, what's this? A bottle of cola. It's still full and hasn't been opened. Oh. We're going to mess up the generator with that. Hard leather glove used by miners. And we're probably going to wear that while we reach into the machine for whatever reason. I'm not sure why we would do that yet. But I'm pretty sure we got, uh, like... Oh, get the... Oh, come on. You little bastard. Okay. I'm pretty sure I need to, like... Fuck up the main generator so I can, like... Use the backup generator, which works properly. Okay. Never mind. I had that little backwards, but whatever. Use it. The emergency generator has started up and I've turned on the power again. Okay, can I use this? No. Wait, did I read this? I can't even read it. Well, I guess that lever works now in the first entrance. It's the only thing I can think of. Oh, did I go in here? Uh, 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 it's tightly shut and cannot be opened and locked electronically, perhaps? Locked electronically. Hmm. Wonder if this will restore strength. Yep, it does. I like this music. It's very soothing. Very calming. Alright, back out into chaos. Looks like tomatoes on the ground, if you ask me. Uh, which way to go? Alright, this way. Uh, yep, he's dead. Let's 
see if I remember correctly, I searched everything in this room and found nada. Whoa! Oh my god, who are you? Are, are you one of them? What? Are you talking about those monsters? Who are you? Easy there. I'm not gonna hurt you. I'm only searching for someone, that's all. Searching for somebody? Who are you? My name's Colt, and I was a CIA agent. Who are you? I'm Tom, Tom Hawken. I'm trying to get to Stillwater so that I can find my sister Alyssa. She disappeared in town. Who did you say you were looking for? A girl. Someone who I lost seven years ago. Her name is Tiffany. I received a letter telling me to come to Stillwater. It was in her handwriting. Hmm. A letter too. That's the lead I'm following to find my sister. What about dates? Did yours have one? Mine's dated three months ago, but I got it just last week. Mine too. Hey, something bizarre is going on here, I think. Do you know anything about it? What? You mean those monsters and the disappearances? No, I don't know anything at all. It's all so strange. I've experienced something like this before. That was when I lost Tiffany. It was years ago, and there were monsters similar to the ones here, but... I think something different is happening here. You've experienced events like these before? When? Who exactly are you? I'm the sole survivor of an incident that occurred at a scientific facility seven years ago. The administrator of the facility caused an accident. Somebody had paid him to do so. The incident pulled the whole facility into an interdimensional breach. We were all s stuck in a strange world filled with bizarre creatures. I managed to undo it and return us to the reality, but Tiffany, she didn't make it out. Well, I'm sure he was more concerned about her at the time, really, and everybody else, so... Anyway... Anyway, this isn't like that. Firstly, there's the letters that both of us received from our lost ones. Then there's the fact that this whole area is still firmly in the middle of reality anyway. The monsters are different, too. I heard that there was a scientific demonstration in Stillwater on the day everyone vanished. Maybe something very similar to what you experienced occurred? Anyway, I do agree that us getting those letters at the same time is rather weird. Especially calling us both to the same place. Yes, I'll need to keep my wits about me. But if there is a chance to see Tiffany again, I'm not going to give up. No, nor I either. What are you going to do now? Well. I noticed that the power came back on. There were a few doors that couldn't be unlocked without power. I'm going to go see what I can find in this place. There must be a way through to town. Okay, I'll do that too. Let's both be careful. There could be some dangerous things down there. I hope you find a way through. Me too. Anyway, I hope you find your sister. I know what it's like to be alone. Interesting. I don't need to use lever. The guy, guy's already uh, opened a lock on the door. Alright. Hmm. Oh, get the hell away from me. Ah, god damn this. They should freeze while I'm reading something. Ah, brace myself. All right, go. <laughs> In there. Creepy. Okay, well... I'm gonna have to end it here. Uh, we're on time. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe to join Maxwell's House of Gaming. Yeah.